Good morning, my darlings. Today's look is about the power of red. Beginning with my Lupe's, moving up to my Camilla and Mark fab pants. You've seen a few times now. And then into this beautiful, soft, silky top with slit sleeve detail. Gorgeous, long length with these um, side splits. Mm. So it can be worn out or it can be half tucked or any of any combination. So today, to bring that waist definition um, in, some of these pants are such a nice um, cut and are super high waisted. Uh, I've done the half tuck at the front and left the back out long. Pretty little gold details on the buttons, which uh, gives me an in with my colorway to work. My gold crossbody bag, gold Levisa, necklace, three gold metallic earrings. So it's, yeah, it's red and gold, red and gold, red and gold. So for my makeup today, I have gone in for the first time to Trini's Fortitude colour. I love it. It's, it's definitely come out more of a bricky red. And I've gone to town with that one today. So I have done that one in my out large outer V and underneath the eye. Started off with a wash and then just built it up, uh, up its intensity. And then Magician was the winner because I just thought, what was that awesome color combination from a couple of weeks ago? It was red and green, should never be seen, right? But we found out that, yes, they should be. So that Magician has got that, you know, it, it's got that hint of khaki in it. Not as much as Chariot that I'm going to get, but I've just worked Magician into the center of the lid and blended that into Fortitude. And I've also taken a tiny bit of Magician underneath and done the same. So that's all I've got on my eyes, uh, except for just a tiny little bit of a gold highlighter in here and just underneath the brow bone. Electra, as always, flush blush. And today, today I'm going with Electra on the lips as well. I can't do any more bright colour. That would be, in my opinion, overdoing it. Far out if I wanted to, I bloody would, you know that. But, just gone for the nude look. Felt like a bit of blow wave moment today. Oh, because I washed my hair. I'm just kind of, blow waved a little bit. It's all a bit straight, but it'll do its fluffy thing, no doubt. Anywho, lady in red, come at me. Come at me, day. I woke up this morning and thought, shoot, I didn't get my outfits ready last night. And I love getting my outfits ready on a Sunday, as I've told you. I just got a little bit busy last night. And I've got up super, super early and gone to the markets um, with my girlfriend and got some amazing um, produce and beautiful fresh snapper to cook a lovely Father's Day dinner. So pretty busy, you know with that and then enjoying the evening and didn't get my outfits together. So I'm going to do that when I get home from work today. But this morning when I woke up, I was like, <gasps> what am I going to wear? And I just thought, I want to be powerful today and everything I do, <clears throat> okay, I feel well rested. I'm ready to come at my week and I mean business about doing good work. So, I wanted to wear something that will empower me and hopefully empower others. Hopefully I won't be like the Matador's cape and have trouble coming at me. Nah. What colour do you wear when you want to feel powerful? Is it something that you've even considered? Is it something that you might like to consider? It's really the psychology of colour theory, isn't it? Same as what I did last week when I was sleep deprived after that crazy night of just being woken up in two hour intervals and I went for bright, bright blue. No, just guess, I guess intuitively trying to work a little bit of colour psychology on myself. Anyway, whatever colour you're wearing today, I hope um, it brings you and others joy and I hope you have a fantastic day. Au revoir, my darlings.